Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NFL action, the final week of the regular season, and we're diving into Washington and Philadelphia. So 2020 is almost over, thank goodness, and we've got a promo code to celebrate. The code is 2021 for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. The football team is favored minus one and a half. The total is 43 and a half. Washington, of course, just releasing quarterback Dwayne Haskins this week. It's been a bit of a chaotic week when it comes to the nation's capital and then you've got Philly who um well both these teams still can get into the playoff playoffs it depends on I think if Dallas loses uh earlier in the day because this is a Sunday night game so it's a little bit hard to handicap this one this far out but we're gonna do our best at least looking at the X's and O's and how these teams match up on paper we've got Lee joining us to break it all down Lee what do you see uh when you see these two teams uh lining up well, the first thing is Washington, if they win, they're in. So, you know, they have everything to play for. But I really don't expect the Eagles to lay down here and just let them win. Jalen Hurts has a lot to play for. He's played really well uh, since taking over for Carson Wentz. But specifically, we'll look at the line in this game. Philly's now plus one and a half at home. Uh, back on September 13th, they were favored by five and a half at Washington. Uh, Washington did win that game 27-17. But Washington only had 239 total yards of offense in that game. Uh, it was largely due to Carson Wentz having uh, three turnovers. He got sacked eight times in the game. Now, just talking specifically about the number, if we look at recent games, the Eagles were at home against comparable opponents. The Giants, they were favored by five. Dallas, they were favored by 10 and a half. And now they're a dog at home to Washington. Washington road games against similar teams, Dallas, Detroit, they were underdogs. They were plus two and a half in both those games. So I think there's been an over-adjustment uh, the odds makers obviously know that public money is going to come in on Washington with them having to win to get in. So I think they've adjusted the number a little bit too what too much. And in contrarian fashion, I'll, I'll side with the Eagles in this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to be leaning on an under here. Washington has hit the under in four straight. And uh, I'm not too sure what we can expect from their offense uh, just because uh, mm -hmm. who's going to be playing quarterback uh, and if, if they're going to be putting up you know, enough points to cover a number that's, yeah, it's pretty low in 43 and a half, but still, I don't think it's going to get there just because on the flip side, you've got this Washington front four on the defense. It's really good. And Jalen Hurts has been good, but I think this uh, Philadelphia offensive line still is not one of the better ones. And I think if you get pressure on Jalen Hurts, it's going to be a lot harder to contain him. So maybe look at his rushing prop as well. Uh, but I am leaning on an under here. I know it's earlier in the week. But, yeah, that's my strongest play on this one. Not a play I love, but something I like the best, I guess. Yeah, and, and looking at the number in this game, too, you know, I, I would probably recommend a teaser bet if you can tease the Eagles and get them over a touchdown. Um, that might be something else, uh, uh, you know, the betters could consider in this game. Yeah, and then just finally, any other thoughts on Week 17 and any anomalies that you've noticed when it comes to uh, betting this uh, week that's a little different in the NFL? Well, again, the odds makers know that the public's going to come in on, on Washington with the need to win factor. But if we look back, teams that need to win in Week 17 to get into the playoffs or would need help with a loss have gone 15 and 23 against the spread. That's 39% uh, when playing teams with zero incentive. And 13 of those 38 teams lost outright. So, you know, the odds makers know what they're doing when they set this number. And I, I think it's kind of a trap. So, you know, betters might want to consider the Eagles in this game. All right. Some good things to consider when talking about this game. Uh, always good stuff from Lee. Lee, thanks for joining us here on Picks and Parlays.